Utah Steve here with Utah Outdoor Adventures. Hope everybody's doing all right. Today is Gear Review Wednesday, and we are reviewing the SteriPen Traveler. This is a water cleansing system. Uh, rather than a filter, it uses UV light to diffuse any pathogens in water. Uh, this is used all over the world, not just in uh, backpacking and hiking scenarios but also in uh, third world countries where you know the water may not be very safe to drink and uh, along with other systems that I have here that I'm going to show you real quick um, what I did is I tested this in the field last August on a backpacking trip and it did really well um, one, one of the uh, wonderful things about this is it takes 90 seconds stirring it in the water to neutralize any pathogens 99.999 percent of all pathogens will be destroyed so that you can enjoy drinking whatever water you may have to drink in the mountains or in the wilderness or wherever you may be um, one of the drawbacks to this is it takes a special kind of battery these are energizer advanced lithium batteries uh, they don't have to be energizer but uh, lithium uh, if you use alkaline batteries in these, they are ineffective and you are going to get sick. So it has to be the lithium batteries. The other downside is this is kind of heavy. With the batteries in, this weighs about five and a half ounces, which is kind of heavy for just one uh, water filtration system. Whereas with your alternatives, you have I have here a little bottle of iodine tablets couple of these in uh, you know a liter of water half hour is the waiting time for these to take effect 90 seconds also there's the Sawyer squeeze system which I have here which is this this little filter and these bags I have yet to field test this I only recently got them I'll do a preview on these uh, Shortly. Anyway, today we're going to focus on the SteriPen. Here's a video from last August that I did on this uh, so you get an idea of how, it, how it's used. The only drawbacks are the weight and the kind of batteries you have to use are kind of expensive. But these same batteries have been in this thing uh, since last August. It is now April and they still work just fine. As you can see, the little green light is blinking. Let me give you a close-up of this and then we'll get to the video. Uh, hope this gear review uh, is helpful if you're considering buying this it's about a hundred bucks off Amazon which is where I got it and there are different uh, newer models than this so you know I don't know how much those are running but that's how much this particular model was so here's a close-up of it the lid comes off there's your bulb the light doesn't turn on until it makes contact with water. Push the button once or twice depending on the size of uh, water container that you're filtering. Anyway, there you go. Let's get on with the video. Here's what happened last August with it and I did not get diarrhea or jardia or anything like that. It worked like a charm. So I will shut up now and let's get on with Gear Review Wednesday with the SteriPen Traveler. Um, what we did is we, up on this hill over here, we found a pool of, looks to be rainwater. And we have it in our pot, gathered it up with these two bottles. And what I used to sterilize it was this, it's called a SteriPen. It uses UV light to basically strips all uh, viruses, bacteria, pathogens of their DNA. So it doesn't kill them, but it makes them useless and basically makes them retarded. So here's our retarded water. It looks cloudy and murky, but we're gonna actually boil it on top of using the SteriPen. Um, I'll show you how the SteriPen works in a minute. I have more water I need to, to sterilize in a bit. So here's the bottle we got the water from. Um, Looks to be just clean rainwater. Probably doesn't have much, much in the way of pathogens in it. But just to be safe, it only rained yesterday and the day before, 
In fact, it poured last night, so uh, this could be that fresh. Um, you're supposed to typically use running water from a stream, but there's none around here except further down the trail by Ruth Lake. So, anyway, that's where it came from. We we're going to use the stereo pan and test it out like we did and, and boil the water, but it's so murky, it's kind of unappetizing. So, even if it's not, even if it's safe to drink, and I, and I know it is, it's things kill 99.999% of everything or not kill it but make it useless so it doesn't hurt you but uh, kind of unappetizing to put in our dinner <laughs> so we're just going to use our uh, water bladders from our backpacks these right here that we've been using as we hike there's the, there's the tube the drink tube from it whatever you call that Anyway, we're going to use that because it only takes a little less than two cups of water, and those hold two liters, so we should be good. We should have enough water. Um, we're not that far from water sources. I just don't want to hike down there right now. Anyway, so that's the plan. And I'm going to show you real quick how this SteriPen works. Here's some more of that rainwater right here. And what we do is for one liter, you push it once, and for half a liter, you push it twice. So, you pull that off. Sorry, dude, I'm one-handed. Murphy's still working on his dinner. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna push this twice. And the light will begin to blink. That means put it in the water, and as it makes contact with the water, you can see the UV light is on. This right now is making complete idiots out of... If you could hear this, as we discussed earlier, Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> if you could hear the pathogens scream. Dear baby Jesus, what's happening to me? All my DNA is being ripped from my body. <laughs> that's probably what they're saying. That, that's my guess. Yeah. What do you think? Probably, probably from the south. Probably from the south? Anyway, <laughs> I, I was trying to come up with something, but yeah, I don't know why. I was thinking Ricky Bobby, dear baby Jesus. The pathogens are white trash. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we just keep stirring and stirring 90 seconds, and it will turn off when everything is done, and this water will be 99.999% safe to drink. And I'm going to use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink some right here in front of you. And I'm gonna use some of it to make some hot cocoa tonight. And I will let you know if I'm up all night in the woods dealing with Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> <laughs> or if it worked great. It's the only way to find out if it works. So I just keep moving it around. Should be shutting off pretty soon here. There it is. And we just turn it off. Oh, off. 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 It thinks I'm doing more. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, that's it. That's all there is to it. So, here goes. I'm going to drink this rainwater. It smells okay. It doesn't smell like pee or animals or anything. Tastes like dirty rainwater. So there you go. Let you know what happens. Hopefully nothing. If it does, the, the uh, Steri Pen people will be getting an angry letter from me. And, uh, anyway, that's it. <laughs>